Hello everybody, Brad Sharple here again, starting some beginning of year procedures for Canvas, some things for you to think about, and how to get your courses set up for the year. This is the second of the beginning of the year procedures. Make sure you have already done your cross-listing before we're getting to this activity. So again, you should have already cross-listed your courses. If you don't haven't done that, I've got a link in the info, the, the comments, about how to, uh, to get to my video on how to do that. So make sure you've already cross-listed your courses before you do this. So this step is going to be setting up the assignment groups in Canvas. So in order for grades to sync between Skyward and Canvas, the assignment groups have to be set up. In order to set those up, we're going to go into the assignments link on your Canvas course. And then we're going to do plus group to add each of our groups. We're going to have to do this a handful of times. We have to use these names as our assignment groups exactly as they are in Skyward. If they're not one of these categories, then the grades will not sync from Canvas to Skyward. So the first one we'll do, we'll do classwork. So we go ahead and hit plus group, name it classwork, and hit save. We can also rename the existing category if we want. We can change this to the next one, which in this case we'll say is formative. Now remember, as you're doing these steps, you only want to do the ones, the assignment categories that you actually use. So if you don't use all of these assignment categories in your class, then don't use all of them. So for my class, for example, I have formative classwork, and I want summative in mine as well. Those are really the only ones I ever use. So we go ahead and hit save. I've got those three groups. The reason this matters is when we build an assignment, we have to make sure that that assignment is in one of these groups in that assignment. So I'll show you what that looks like right here. So right here, you would give it the assignment name, the assignment description, you fill all that information out. But what matters is that assignment group is going to be one of those categories we created. It has to be an assignment group that matches the one in Skyward. That's going to be really, really important. And then, of course, make sure we click on the sync to Skyward so that those grades will sync over when they're done. Once it has a due date. It has to have a due date. All right, I hope that video helped you guys out. I hope now you have all your assignment categories set up. Make sure you do those for all the ones you've used and you'll be set to go. And throughout the year when you're creating assignments, you always want to go ahead and make sure it's in one of those groups. The thing that people miss most often is when they import an assignment from another course or from the commons or something like that, it adds it to the imported assignments category. So every time you import, you have to go in and edit and change the assignment group. That's the thing most people miss. So as always, I hope that helped out. Check out, if you have any questions, you can email me, bradley.shreffler at ocps.net. And remember, you are going to do awesome things this year.